Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Uh, today we're going to be showing how to use the Molecular Inscriber. Uh, this was a requested video, and we're putting it together to kind of step into that. Um, this is from the Matter Overdrive mod, um, and if you're looking to get into any of that stuff, uh, the machines and the androids, uh, this is one of the very first machines you're going to need to build, because uh, it's very important for a lot of the... Uh, components you're going to need for the later machines. So um, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. Uh, but most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Uh, that way, if you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right. So uh, first things first, we're going to need to learn how to make some machine casings, because uh, that is, again, a base component needed in a lot of the matter overdrive stuff. Uh, so that is going to be some titanium plate, titanium ingots, gold, or redstone. Now, tritanium is a little bit later game stuff than uh, some of the real basic stuff. There's not really a sapling for that. Um, tritanium can be mined in some of the other zones or dimensions. Um, I find it most commonly found in the Twilight Forest. Uh, so if you're looking for that, uh, that's a great way to do it as well, as well as laser miner and other components as well. But um, tritanium, you will need a bunch if you're messing with matter overdrive. Uh, next is the molecular inscriber itself, and that's going to be one of those machine casings we were just making. Two pieces of redstone, two more titanium plate, a piston, two iron ingots, and a dilithium crystal. And then you're also going to need some isolinear circuits MK1. And those are pretty easy. It's just iron, redstone, and glass of pretty much any color. Now, the isolinear circuits are what you're going to use uh, for a lot of the basic stuff, building this, but there's also a circuit MK2, MK3, and MK4, and that's what you need the molecular inscriber for. That's what makes those other tiers. So let's go ahead and put this together. Now, uh, for this, you are going to need a power source. Uh, for today, I am using a uh, battery powered by a wireless solar array. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, there's a tutorial on how to use solar power and wireless energy on my channel as well. All right, so let's go ahead and grab us some components here. All right, so pop that bad boy there, and as you can see, we now have the matter overdrive molecular inscriber, okay? And click on here, you can see that it's gathering RF, it uses quite a bit of it. And the way that the inscriber works is you put basically one type of item here and then one of the isolinear circuits here of whichever level in the combination that you need to, to make the next step up. So, for example, if we are going to put a gold ingot here and an isolinear circuit MK1 here, you'll see that it's starting to farm out here. And it's using up our power and it is going to generate an MK tier 2. There we go. So an MK Tier 2. So really simple. Now you can click on here to see recipes. So Tier 2 is an MK1 with gold. A Tier 3 is using an M a MK2 and diamond. And then the biggest one, which is an MK3, or sorry, an MK4, which uses an MK3 chip and an emerald. And as you can see, you can see the amount of energy and how long it takes to make that as well. So you can pick the one you want and pop your energy, and it will start farming that right from your inventory. Now, one thing that can be a little annoying about this component, so you see I'm clicking here, it only lets me put in one at a time. So it can be kind of slow to sit here, do one, drop another one in, over and over again. You can multi-stack your, your fuel type or your uh, secondary component, but your original one, you cannot. So there is a way to automate this. So let's just say real quick, I'm going to drop that on here, drop that on here, pop that out. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop an item extraction cable from a chest going into it. And then have another item extraction cable from a chest going out of it. As you can see, I've already got some threes in there. So right now the gold will stay there. Having these chests here will not pull out your secondary component. It's only going to work on this first slot. So if we go up here, we throw in a bunch of MK1 chips or circuits. It shows two there. Oddly enough, it's the only time I've ever seen it put more than one, but that happens every time I auto-feed it in. But after it makes the Tier 2 chip, 
it'll automatically see it did not appear there, but another one starts farming immediately. And it's going to start building those up in here. So that's an easy way to automate it so you don't have to sit there and just keep putting in one at a time. Um, but overall, the inscriber is not too hard to use, but it is a very basic component uh, to all of the matter overdrive. You want to start kind of with that one uh, so you can start making those higher level circuits for the more advanced matter overdrive machines. Uh, but that is pretty much all that's involved with doing that and getting the future chips. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, uh, please be sure to put those down in the comments, uh, as well as uh, any recommendations or suggestions that you have for any other videos or tutorials you'd like to see in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Uh, but that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.